So we'll continue on here and put some overhead cupboards in. If we go to our repository, we do have some overhead units here. And the overhead units also have some graphic display options so that they will appear dotted in plan. So we have a look at this floor plan here, which explains the graphic options. We've got two methods, one on the left using filters, and the one on the right is editing the visibility settings. Filters are available to full Revit users, and it's the preferred method if you can. But for Revit LT users, your, your only option is to use this version on the right. Let's have a look at the filter. So we'll go into visibility graphics. Here's the filter here. We'll edit the filter to have a look at it. And we've got a rules-based filter that is set to casework category, and it's looking for the construction type parameter that contains the word overhead. And then anything it finds satisfying that rule will be dashed and also made transparent. So if we have a look at the parameters in this family, go to its properties, edit the type, there is the construction type and it's set to overhead. So I'm going to grab a corner overhead cupboard that I want, copy that to the clipboard, back into plan here where we do have a filter already set up and I've got my one set to red lines, still 100% transparent, so that when we paste this in, spacebar to rotate it, that's indeed showing up dashed. Then I can just click and drag that into position just like all the other families. I'll drag out those grips to get it to be the right size. And just let's have a look at that in section. And I will align that up with the top of that. And it does have an offset off the work plane, uh, which is the floor of 1800. I'm going to reset that work plane back to the ground floor level. So I'll continue on doing exactly the same thing, putting those other families in there. 